there was no good way to capture this at all without like killing someone or ending up in the drainage ditch or something but there is such a torrential downpour right now that it's amazing clouds are touching the street I'll just say and I was going to go down to the little creek as the locals say um, that's kind of right outside school and see if I could gather some rocks for my medicine wheel and I looked at the path which is dirt and the grand puddles of water standing water with the snow and I said to myself self if you go down that path you know you're not going to get back out without calling AAA so we're sliding into the creek so here I am on my way home and I don't know what color the sky is but it was like this gloomy ass gray this morning and it's not especially cold I don't know how to describe it it is um it's it's too warm for the snow that is on the ground so I think everything is kind of like condensing and so that's the weather um I want to say it kind of matches my mood, but I don't, I don't feel especially bad. I just feel like, like run down. Last night I went to work, they called me in. I really didn't want to go in. Like I can't tell if I was getting a message from spirit or intuition or something like that to not go into work, but something was saying, yeah, you shouldn't go. I mean, I was planning to go see Hidden Figures, but I wasn't going to go see it anyway because I wanted to get more studying done. And I may go see it tonight, but with the way I feel, I just, I don't want to be around people. So anyway, I went to work and there was a situation that developed with a resident in quite a drastic, sudden manner. And the night before I was with this resident and uh, I heard quite clearly in my head I'm going to die and you know that's all there is to it and last night this resident expired and I got home and I just didn't feel like I don't know how I felt I felt like didn't feel well and I felt like this resident spirit or something that was around this resident kind of went home with me kind of attached itself to me and I'm trying to figure out what to do about it in the context of shamanism and stuff like that like I totally forgot to put on Florida water and all of that last night because I got home so incredibly late. I have to do my cruise control because I don't want to really go fast in this weather, but I don't want to get run over by people either. Um, I got home so, I got, I went to sleep late and I had class this morning and I knew I was going to be late anyway. So I got up kind of splash myself down with some Florida water because you know it was spiritual protection and also I didn't have time to take a shower because I was already an hour late for class lecture and I want to say I woke up depressed and when I wake up that way it's like that's usually the morning where I don't do much I usually sit on the couch with a cup of coffee with the animals and meditate or whatever comes to me and I take the morning off for myself and I almost feel like something was on me riding me all night I don't mean in a sexual way but just really grinding down my spirit and I even remember waking up to go to the bathroom and I wasn't feeling well then and well mentally and emotionally I, this is 
going to be one of the questions like why last night did this happen and why am I feeling the way I'm feeling today and actually one of the messages I got from spirit actually just kind of dropped into my head was that um, a great un, a deep seated unmet need something in me that is draining um, draining me and Coincidentally, last night I got a troll. I got trolled by someone, a Roman Catholic, trolling me about being a Buddhist, and because um, I made a comment on another YouTube channel about uh, the secular Franciscans, and you know, before I really went all in on the Thunder Wizard path, I was thinking about becoming a secular Franciscan, and. Uh, this person just kind of went in on me and I just I felt my energy starting to get drained from there and then I had this situation with Walmart with the customer service issue I thought this girl she customer service girl was being a little bit prejudiced and I don't know how to explain it because I don't want to seem like a whiner and a complainer and, and that's kind of draining me too and before the night before last night I had a really good meditation a lot of things revealed to me and um, you know one of the things was you know I, I asked uh, Mother Holy in spirit like what what is what is my what are my great spiritual passions like what's the path am I going to be taking and I was shown in a, a, a small cabin like it was in a forest like like a forest like this um, in western Pennsylvania right now I'm going through um, the Allegheny Forest uh, this is this part of it is up north I'm about two two and a half hours from the New York State border and this is Cameron McKean County so there's a lot of pine trees, but this was heavier. It was like dense. It was like Alaska, um, but not Alaska, like dense like that, but more like the Black Forest. For whatever reason, I always go back to this particular area of the Black Forest. And this cabin is always there. And if it's not the Black Forest, it's always somewhere in the Austrian Alps. And I don't know, maybe in the future, future reading or something like that that will be revealed to me but this cat and it was a, um, a thing about writing and um, oh and I was shown a bicycle like what are the things that I need to be doing and uh, I said to myself thinking today with the way I felt because I'm telling you if I couldn't walk into class when my legs went weak and I got confused uh, I would have sent myself to the ER, but I'm saying, well, where is this coming from? Like, why am I feeling this way today? Why am I having, like, this downer day after, you know, and, you know, like, what's the reality? Like, this this is the reality of some situation, and I said, oh, I mean, I'm creating my reality every other moment, so why am, why am, why is my spirit gen generating this situation? And uh, so that's what I'm going to find out. I'm on my way home. I, I'm going to go to the YMCA and exercise for 15 minutes to see if I can pep myself up. And if not, I'm going straight home um, to my to my bathroom, my healing cat. There is another state trooper. I am manifesting state troopers out the ass today. One was an, un, an unmarked car. He, I was going 60 miles an hour and he passed me like I was standing still in his F-O-R-D, his fucked over rebuilt Dodge. I was like, okay. I saw two more on the other side, like one or two more cruisers and then one just passed me. So I don't know what is going on. I actually, I think I know what's going on because it dawned on me today why I see so many cops state troopers every time I drive up back and forth from school and stuff is um, I'm generating a short story idea uh, and it involves cops and uh, law enforcement and <laughs> uh, with my husband 
Nation's involvement in law enforcement and Blue Lives Matter and stuff like that. So I think that that's why I'm attracting. I, they don't pull me over, mind you. I last time I was pulled over was last year for doing 40 in a 25 mile an hour school zone at midnight, and a cop laughed in my face because this is the same cop that used to pull me over like every other second for some expired tag or another. And he kind of, he knows me by first name. They all know me. I mean, it's a small town, so they all know me. And, um, yeah, so, <laughs> I got nothing but love for the police because I just read a story today about a trooper that was shot, shot and killed for stopping to help someone who was uh, breaking the law in so many ways. And, um... You know, so there it is. I pray, I pray for the cops and law enforcement, emergency uh, services, uh, because I, I really do appreciate them. They've always come through for me. I only really think I've had one or two shady experiences with cops, and uh, you know, one was both were just kind of like their personalities is that they were douchebags you know what I mean look like they would have just did it to everybody and so this is like my driving chat actually I don't know why but making this video I actually feel like mentally better maybe I just need to get it out this is like a form of journaling to me today I don't know what kind of day I'm gonna have but it's gonna involve some cleansing and some ritual and that, that that phone consultation I had couldn't come fast enough because I need some runes pulled, I need my chart read, I need something to find out what the hell 